Right, we had some problems with the voiceover before, so I'm having to redo myself. It's lunchtime at the Ashes. England are two wickets down, and here comes a lovely boat. She's called Far Canal. You've got to be a bit careful how you say that. She's a 55-foot traditional stern narrowboat, built by mate Mike Haywood in the year 2000. She's been well prepared for sale. The paintwork's very good. She's just been blacked um, in June this year. Two-pack epoxy, four new anodes were put on her. She's also had a full survey. That's available in the office for viewing. You see how shiny the paintwork is there. There's two solar panels on the roof, 100 watts each. Portholes towards the back of the boat and bus style windows towards the front. So she's quite nice and light inside. There's a crutch cover in reasonable condition on the front deck there. The well deck's a good size actually, 4 feet 11 inches long. Two 13 kilo gas bottles in that forward locker. Glazed front doors, nice solid oak wooden doors those are. The water tank's under, nice glazed crutch board. The water tank's under the well deck here. We think it's stainless steel, not 100% sure. And then we go. The floor's lovely, it's solid oak. The rest of the boat is fitted out in light textured wallpaper with solid oak trim and oak face ply with oak trim in various bits of places. Very open plan at the moment in the sitting room. A few shelves there on the left of the screen, there's storage in the steps. People normally use those for sort of fire accessories, light, um, fire lighters or kindling or coal. Solid fuel stove, not sure of the model or make. See the radiators there, there's three radiators and a heated towel rail on board. That's a 21 inch TV stroke DVD combo. And there's a nice L shaped couch here. This does turn into a bed, that rack pulls out. Not that easy with one hand to be fair, but that does make into a double bed. And there is a full length table, it's, uh, you'll see that in a bit that goes for a dining table. In the kitchen, oh, the saloon was 10 feet 6 inches long and the galley is 7 feet 4. The cooker is a, a Canon Connemara 4 burner gas hob oven and grill. That's an instant hot water heater. That works off the gas. Stainless steel sink. There are four sources of heat in the water. That instant gas heater, the engine central heating, which is a Webasto system, or there's also an immersion heater on board. There's plenty of storage in the kitchen. The fridge itself is a 12 volt shoreline with an ice box. Worktops are laminate. Another cupboard up here. So everything you need really in the kitchen. Big side hatch on the starboard side. And down the corridor into the bathroom. The loser cassette, Thetford cassette, there's a spare cassette on board, there's a heated towel rail, that basin is ceramic with a cupboard underneath it. And it's a half bath with shower over and a glass bifold door that pulls across. And there's LED lights at floor level there actually, mood lights for the evening, it's quite nice. That, we've just passed a double table that goes in the saloon. Go into the bedroom. The bathroom, by the way, was five foot four, and the bedroom six foot two. The bed's four feet wide. Lots of drawers underneath it. There's quite a lot of storage in here, actually. Drawers under the bed and cupboards all the way along the length of the bed at ceiling height. And another one over the head end. There are a couple of reading lights under this one. There we go, and at the foot of the bed it, it opens up a bit, there's some more cupboards here, there's one above another. Another one down there. And a really sort of narrow cupboard down, not sure what you'd put in it, but I'm sure you could find it useful for something. All these cupboards have nice solid doors. The electrics in here, there's the inverter, it's an 1800 watt Sterling Pro Power inverter, there's a power line charger and a Pro Budget charger. The engine's under here, it's a Ford 1.8 XLD. The, uh, the panel on the right hand side of the screen there does open up I think for changing belts and things. 
lovely floor. And at the back here, there's a couple of tough seats with a foot perch, I suppose. And there's the view from the helm. Have another walk back through. There's three domestic batteries, one starter, believed to be 110 amps, LED lights throughout, head height is not mentioned, that's generous at 6 foot 6. I've mentioned the uh, Webasto central heating system. Hot water is heated by the engine, the Webasto or the immersion, as well as that instant gas water heater. There's landline hookup, there's windlasses on board, mooring pins, hammer, ropes. Really good space, this saloon. You could really make her quite cosy, make her your own. So there we go. Far Canal for further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure, and the price go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.